Hello everyone. My name is Prosper Odono from Pokans Institute of Craft and Creative Arts. So today I am back again with this wonderful pack. <laughs> so before I continue, I want to welcome everybody and for all of you that have subscribed already to this channel thank you and if you are watching this for the first time you are seeing this channel for the first time please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumb up and also press the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will see them so let's get back to our project so today i have this envelope post so I want to teach you how to make this envelope purse. It's a gift um, purse. We call it souvenir in Nigeria. That is what they give in party and everybody likes it. So this is it. It's an envelope purse. So this is what you want to... Just simple, very simple project. No lining, no much uh, materials. Just simple, beginner friendly. So that is what we want to do today so let's get started so the things that we needed for this uh, project is um we need your pattern if you like you don't have pattern but i have pattern because i've made a lot of this project for souvenir so many of it so i made my pattern so this is my pattern so to get your pattern you have to cut 13 inches by 9 inches that is what is here 13 inches by 9 inches that is it so what i use for my pattern is carry board that is what i use for my pattern top you measure from the center you measure three inches down from center you measure three inches that three inches is going to be the flap so that is yeah 13 inches by 9 inches that is the pattern then from here to here three inches so this way i'll fix my zip then you have to notch it so that you know you have to rule it this way your mark it you rule it this way from here to here is three inches so from that three inches is where you are just going to curve it that way so that is that so the things we needed for this project number one is my fabric you can use any fabric of your choice this one is the um, cork cork and then um, it's um, good just imitation leather or <laughs> rubber leather so that is what i'm using you can use anything you can use any fabric you can use any leather you can use jeans so that is it about this one so i also have my my zipper cloth or my zipper tape so this is my zipper tape yeah this is my zipper tape so i'm going to measure 10 inches since my pattern is nice so i'm just going to measure 10 leaving one inch to be on the safer side so that i just get extra one inch here to play around with so i'm going to cut 10. so i also have my zipper lid so this is my zipper lid and it's it's size 5 the zipper is size 5 that i'm using you can use any size but size 5 would be okay and i have my zipper lid so this lid i'm going to fix my lid so that is it you need your zipper lid if you are not using this type of zipper that you have to, to use roll and you cut it down to size you can buy any already made zipper and you just this is it's nine in, it's ten inches that you needed then i also have my webbing so I wanted to use um, taping, that is the lighter belt, so, but I didn't have that one in gold, so I choose to use a webbing. So I'm using a webbing, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to use the webbing to tape it around, so that is, I just use it to tape it around. So that is it about the webbing. And if you are using a webbing, you will always need your lighter because you have to bond the edges of the webbing so this is my lighter for the webbing to bond the edges of the webbing and i need i have my thread you also need your thread your matching thread 
as I've rightly said, this is um, is nylon thread for bag maker. It's not a um, as in a fabric thread. This is nylon thread, and that is what we use for making for bag making. You also need your ruler to measure and to cut and to straighten your work. So you need the tape roll for your measurements. So you also need your velcro. This is my velcro. So I have my velcro. So I didn't get any other color. I have black. So this is my velcro. So I'm going to cut my velcro one and a half inches. One and a half inch for my velcro. So I'm going to cut one and a half or two inches. But I always use one and a half inch. So that's what I'm using for my velcro. Okay. You also need your scissors. You need your marking pen. So that is how what all we needed for this um, hour. So I'm going to cut to use my my pattern to cut out my fabric. Then I'll tell you the next step. Okay. So what I did is just using my my pattern to trace tracing out my fabric. So this is placing my pattern on my fabric or my leather and trace it out and roll it by three inches so i'm going to cut it out now so this is it so i'm going to cut it out all right so i have cut out my my fabric so this is how it looks like exactly like my pattern right so the next step is to fix my zipper so let me cut out my zip and Okay, so the next step is um, I've cut down my zipper. As I told you, my zipper is 10 inches. Okay, so the next step is placing my zipper, the right side of my zipper, to the right side of my material. You can see the right side of my zipper facing the right side of my material this way. So if I go to my machine, I'm going to run it down this way. I'm going to stitch it this way down sew it down this way so after sewing it this way i'm going to turn it this way and you know i'll match it down this way so i will now place it this way you remember the line the three inches from here to here three inches line so i'm going to place it like this and also just run my sewing down this way so that is the next step so i placed my my zipper the way I did it, then I stitch it and I top stitch here. I run it this way, top stitch, you know. So after that, I now place, turn it around and place it here. So let me open it and just explain better for you to get it. So I took it to my machine. After sewing it the right side to right side, I turn it down this way. Then I top stitch it here so that my work will be neat and so that it will relax. So after that, I have to place it this way. Just the way it was. That line, that 3 inches line, I just to place it there. Just natural like that and then run it down here. So that is what I've done so far. So the next step now is to fix my velcro. For me to fix, I just open it out for open it up for you to see it. So for me to fix my velcro, now I have to fix my zipper again so that it's supposed to be closed. Before I fix, so I want to just close down my zip and remove the, the zipper pull to show you how I will fix my velcro because that is the that aspect is very important. If you don't fix it well, you will just sew everything together and you'll be able to open your bag. So, so the next step now is fixing my velcro. So, this is my velcro, velcro has the female and the male parts. So, I'm going to Tear out my velcro this way, okay. So I'm going to that is the hard side and the soft side. So I'm going to place the soft side here, just leaving one inch from the top here, center that I've marked my center, the center of my half moon. So I just place it this way. I mean, leaving half inch. So I'm just going. To, I hope you are seeing it. So I'm going to place it this way, leaving half inch. So I'm going to attach my velcro this way i have to stitch it very well secure it very well so that you know it's, it's going to, you are going to be pulling it up and down so that is what you will do 
So this is what I want to do. So after doing it, after attaching this particular one, that is the the female one or the male, that is the soft side. After attaching it, I'm going to attach this. I'm going to cover it up. You are, you are, remember, you are going to set it apart before you attach this one. So after attaching it, I'm going to close it up again. I'm going to seal it up again. Right? Then I'm going to use my chalk. So you also need your chalk. I'm going to secure my Velcro, leaving half inch from here. And I stitch it very well because you have to be sure that it's well secured so that you will not um, pull up later. So that is what I've done. So after securing this this part, I'm going to fix this part again. Place this one on top of it, making sure that it rhyme. So I use my chalk to mark the top. Is it? I use my chalk to paint here so that by the time I fold it, I place it. I make sure that it's well placed, it's well centered, it's well aligned, and I just press it very well just to mark the part that I would place the other side that is just the sense of this just to mark it so this is the mark here I'm seeing the mark so after that I will now pull off this one then I will now separate so this aspect is very important if you don't do it this way my students used to make that mistake. If you don't get it that way, someday we just rush and it's still closed like this. And they are stitching this one like this and they are sewing it. If you sew it that way, you are sewing the whole thing. It's no more a bag. You, you, your hand won't go through. You won't be able to open it. So they, you will have to lose and re fix it again. So what you do, you have to separate it first. You separate it first before you now fix this one here so that is what I'm going to do now so that is it so I have finished um, fixing it you just make sure you run it about twice so that you know that it's well secured so this is the back and this is the front so now I have to fix my zipper pull or zipper lid so this is it now. So by the time you close it up that way, this is how it's going to be. So that is, it will now form the envelope. So it's, that is why it's called an envelope post. So I'm going to fix my zipper lid. Once again, you know, any of my videos, I always teach you how to fix your zipper lid. So to fix my zipper lid, to my zip, how to fix your zipper lid. You put, you fix the zipper lid, the iron. You place it a bit. I hope you are seeing it. A bit. Just don't let it everything enter. Just fix it a bit. Then you bring this side. You place it this way. Yes. You just pull it. You done. As simple as ABC. But me, I like when I fix it this way because I I don't want to have problem here joining and trying to you know match them so i will take it out this way then i'll pass it through this end too then it will be center so the two will, so if i'm running it down i'll just so i'm going to fix this one again from this side i'm going to fix it so it will be center so here will be closed up this one side will be short down also so what i'm going to do now is after fixing my zip so i'm going to go to my machine and just run this side you know just to hold it down run this side run this side then taping so let me just do that and show you so this is it i'll fix the zipper so you can see it's very clean that is what i wanted the work we need so i don't need to be battling with how this one will run so you see the clothes was okay because i have to take it this way and bring it in again so this is it so i've already fixed my zipper i've already closed down these two edges so the next step now is to tape it around that is it you see this project is very very simple very simple beginners friendly so it's as simple as abc you can see very simple and quick if you are thinking of um, a gift to give to somebody just make this one very quick and you're done so this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to use this tape. 
uh, belt or webbing I'm going to alright our fuss is ready our envelope fuss is ready so what I just did is um, I went to my machine and I tape it round that was what I did and that is it and this is it isn't this beautiful this is beautiful right please if you are watching this video and you have not yet subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel we'll be posting video every week just subscribe and give this video a thumb up if you like it and press the notification bell so whenever we post our videos you will see them thanks for watching see you in our next